HitFirstBoxing.com. We in the house. First things first, man. Dante Wilder, Barnes Bomber. Congratulations. You brought the title back to the United States of America. I mean, there was a lot of spectacles saying that you weren't going to do that, man. You was going to win. You won that fight. Speak about that, man. Talk on that night. Well, you know, um, I've been telling people for years that uh, the things I'm capable of doing, what I can do inside and outside of the ring, you know. Um, I understand that I hypnotized people for 32 fights of, of, of knocking everybody out. So now they start saying, man, this can't be real. Why is he? Why he's doing the things he's doing? How is he doing the things that he's doing? Oh, maybe because it's the opponents. Uh, my promoters don't believe me, so they match this is and that, you know. So, um, so I always said I need the right opponent and the right fight. And Berman was the right opponent for the right fight. And uh, it's for me to, to to reveal everything that I could do, you know, I said, if anybody gonna take, bring it out of me, it was gonna be him. And then when you fighting for the world title, I wanted to display everything that I had and I, I done it. I showed him that I could take a punch, I laughed at it. I showed him that I can go rounds. I did it with fast, you know, with great fashion, without with even getting tired. tired. I showed him that I could box. I did all that stuff, so you know, I just wanted to reveal and, and, and tell the people Deontay Wilder is here, and I'm not going nowhere. You spoke about the promoter. Now, my question is, are you there with Golden Boy Promotions? That's your promoter. Are you signed with Golden Boy Promotions? I was with, yeah, we were with um, Golden Boy. Um, I'm no longer with those guys, not, not because uh, of uh, uh, nothing about them, you know, I, I still love Golden Boy. I, I, um, I still deal with some of the people in Golden Boy. That's my family, still. But, um, you know, sometimes life brings about different situations and, um, and, and what you have to take advantage of, you know. I'm always doing whatever I do, I do for my children. I do for my, do for my kids, you know, um, at the end of the day. You know, it's about them. But, um, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to always working with those guys. They'll always be family to me, and um, so we'll see what happens in the future. You're an Al Heyman fighter. Al Heyman just stepped up to a plate majorly this year. NBC Sports, CBS, Spike TV, Showtime. I mean, it just keeps on going. ESPN, Friday Night Fights, the list keeps on going. When is your next date? Well, we don't know yet. Um, it will soon be announced. We're, we're trying to get some stuff situated uh, due to the fact that I broke my hand in June. Um, for, I mean, I broke my hand for, in, in January for the for the championship fight. So during still, camp, during camp? No, no, during the fight. I'm wow. Berman. I, I had a broke hand in one eye, and I still wow. beat him. The people didn't know that. Mm. But um, so just imagine, it, just imagine. Yes, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh What's shit! Up, boy? Ah. Good. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, What's going on, big boy? How you feel, big boy? Good. 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 Hang right here, boy. I'm fighting. Yeah. yeah, you. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish. Um, hopefully soon, man. You know, we're trying to get in there with Laura. Um, and make it happen, man. Give the fans a fight that they want to see at the 154 division. Hopefully, he takes it. If not, you know, we're looking for the next best thing. He's just a great fighter right here, yeah, my, though, limber, man. my limber brother, baby. Right my limber here. brother. The you know, we, right we had fun in 2008, oh, yeah. man, and oh, yeah. it was be great. Now we both champions. Candle, my man. Bring both the both champions in the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got two champions in, in a, another brother. Candle, oh, house of I mean, Candle's love. Tomorrow night, you got Steve Cunningham. And Cesar Glasgow, how you see that fight going down? Well, you know, Cunningham was a very good technical boxer. I, I mean, I like his style, and um, you know, um, he definitely could have beat Fury uh, if he would have stepped to the game plan. Even though Fury was a bigger guy, you know, I think he was definitely using his skills where he needed. Well, he uh, dropped him. Yeah, he dropped him as well so too. So um, his chin is subject. Yeah, yeah, We got yeah, to go okay. to a one minute. Okay. Okay. No, you got thirty seconds. Oh, you got okay. So, um, so. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing if he can come with his boxing skills like Cunningham know how to fight. I see him winning that fight. You know, um, uh, Glasgow, he's, he's a strong guy. You got to give him that he's strong. This is a heavyweight division, and it's based on power. Um, I, so I think that um, any given time, he making land a nice punch and, and get Cunningham out of there. So we'll see what happens. Um, but it, it, it's an interesting matchup against power in boxing. Jennings so, and Klitschko. Jennings and Klitschko. I don't think Jennings have – any. everybody have a chance. I wouldn't say no chance, but I, I don't – I think – Jennings have bit out more than he can chew with that fight. He's not ready for that. He's Last not, question. Uh, with, a, with a taller fighter and stuff like that, he, he don't have a, the amateur pedigree nor the, the, the experience with the tall fighters in the ring. I, I, don't, I don't see him winning that. I see him getting knocked out. Pascal, the main event with Kovalov. How you see that one going now? With Pascal, you know, he, um, Kovalov, again, he, he's strong. He's technical. He's smart in the ring. But um, Pascal, he, he, he's technical. He's in shape. He's, he's well trained. And, um, I, I, you know, it can go any given way, but um, I'm going with Pascal on that. He's he's a he's a good friend of mine, and as you see, that um, Russ Ambrose is his trainer, as well as my cut man, my trainer as well too. So it'll be good for 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 Ambrose to say that I train the heavyweight champion of the world and the light heavyweight champion of the world. That's Dante, amazing. A couple last words for fans worldwide. 
to all my fans worldwide. I appreciate the support and the love you guys have been giving me. And those that have came aboard now due to my last performance, I want to say welcome to you guys. Welcome to the Bomb Squad. And here we go, baby. The journey has started, and um, we're going all the way to the top. Nobody's beating me. I'll let you know right now. Nobody's beating me, I promise. Look for great fights, and um, look for the best of Deontay, baby. Bomb Squad! Thank you, player. Always pleasure.